Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... It can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Caden, back on Vermeer. He died, buying us time to defeat Sovereign. Seeing what we're up against now, you might think his sacrifice was in vain. You know Caden would never think that. Yeah. That's one more reason I miss him. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. He called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs.
Commander, there is something we should discuss if you are finished rewriting history. I made my decision, Counselor. There's not much anyone can do about it now. Yes. We're going to have billions more Krogan in the galaxy. It's a good thing you saved my life once, Shepard. Otherwise, well... I have concerns about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. My agents have discovered that he's using his authority to move vast sums of money. For what purpose? We're not sure. If Adina's dirty, it's best we get to the bottom of it fast. Agreed. Come to the Citadel. We will review the evidence and discuss this in private. Valorn out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... ...this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the Genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation. But whatever you did, it was worth it. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled them. Good to hear. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Any word on the Volus and Alcor? 
The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evrun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth water, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Neveria. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see him in action. Commander? something. Asian successful.
Signal confirmed. Reapers eluded. I found something. Signal confirmed.
Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for our frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. like we found the control center. Yes, Shepard. If you wish. Damn it. This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Garrus, make it quick. On it. No problem, Cortez. Get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown fail safe. Couldn't be avoided. Outside communications are gone. Just bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. Where we need to go.
Trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. How'd you get through the interference? Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. An Atlas. Terrific. Give it everything you've got. Will do! I will come back. It is done. It is dead. Anyone wounded? Just the usual minor flesh wound. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. So, Sarah, how about your buddy? The one who joined Cerberus. You heard from him? No, I cut ties. Reported him for whatever good that Commander, is. Chief Engineer Commander Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Commander? Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brain... That is where Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this, and my head's gonna explode. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. 
What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plant into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Well done, everyone. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. 
They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. The stone has no choice in the form it will take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Commander?